Hello, uh, Trey Reckliff here coming to you another hot tip for Aurora HDR 2017. Uh, this one has to do with noise, all right? So I know a lot of you guys like going in and using the presets, right? Because it gives it either a dramatic look or even sometimes with a milder look, what can happen is up in the sky, you still get some noise, all right? So I'm gonna go down to the studio now and show you the best way to get rid of that noise. It takes only a few moments. Welcome to Venice, or at least my desktop over the internet, which is the next best thing. So let's play with a little denoise trick here, all right? Um, along the way, we'll stop at the ghost reduction bus stop, which was a very dumb thing to say. So here we go. We're going to click alignment and ghost reduction and say create HDR. What is ghost reduction? For those of you new to it, somehow haunting your hard drive? No, we are not. Sometimes what happens is there is movement, okay? Like these two boats, these vaporettos. They are going down the Grand Canal, and of course they're moving between each of the shots. So normally what I do is I pick the middle exposure, okay? And to me that often has the best freeze frame, the best lighting, so on and so forth. So we'll pick the middle exposure, and I'll say Create HDR. Oh my God, I got distracted by Rick and Morty. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. All right, so let's increase the contrast here, increase the smart tone. What we're gonna do here is make it look as good as we can in the main layer, okay? Let's increase the exposure just a little bit. Um, now let's get down to the meaty stuff down here. This is the HDR structure area. So let's increase this. And you know, if you take this too high, it gets like super HDR crazy. If you really want to go nuts, increase the boost, increase the HDR detail and the softness, but it's way too much. Easy there, cowboy. So we're going to dial it back down. Just wanted to show you how extreme you could go. Okay. But look what it is. The sky is quite nice, isn't it? But the sky is becoming quite noisy. All right. Now, I kind of like the, quote, noise everywhere else because it kind of adds texture down everywhere else, doesn't it? Now let's bring down the saturation just a little bit. Bring down the vibrance. A little too much, okay? Now, we want to get rid of the noise, but just in the sky, okay? So how do we do that, okay? We're going to add a layer up here, click plus adjustment layer, okay? And then we're going to go down here to HDR denoise, and we're going to increase the amount, okay? And increase the smooth, and there, that looks great, just like that, just like that. Now, if you have extreme noise, if you have a bad noise problem, which sometimes happens, honestly, when you're playing with HDR, take this super smooth and move it all the way up. You can see what that's done to the sky. That's no super smooth. That's super duper smooth, all right? That makes it really nice, okay? Uh, but I like to have a little bit of texture up in the sky anyway, right? So I'll leave it just like this. Now what I'll do is I'll pick my brush right here. And you'll notice that my brush by default is at 50%, which means every time I push down, it'll be 50%. And I just want to brush in the sky, okay? So as I click up here, I'm brushing in the sky, and I'll do like two passes there. I'll get a little bit of overlap on the buildings, not the end of the world. So you can see the mask right there. So what that means is all that noise that I just got rid of is only getting ri being gotten rid of up there in the sky. Okay, and nowhere else down there is still nice and textury. All right, so that's often a final pass I'll do on my photos. I'll go up there, I'll get rid of some of that noise, make it nice and smooth up there, and keep the bottom part all nice and textury. I think it's important to have a transition in your photos from something uh, smooth to something with texture, a cool color to a warm color, um, this sort of thing. All right, so there's another quick tip for you. By the way, here's one other minor one. Don't forget to play with image radiance because that can give your sky a really nice kind of glow, okay? Uh, play with this and smart colorize, and you can really kind of add some oomph up there, all right? And if I want to do it to the whole thing, remember I would make it another layer, a new adjustment layer, and now whatever changes I make will be done to the entire layer here. So I might increase the radiance here, the smoothness, the brightness, a little bit of colorize, just to give it a little bit of that romantic glow, okay? 
Let's look at it before and after. So this is before, okay, kind of humdrum and blah, blah, to this, which is much more Venice. Oh, all right. Hope you enjoyed that little tip. I've got a couple more quick tip videos out there and some longer ones too. Um, so pop on over to stuckincustoms.com or the Mac Fun site and got to catch them all. Thank you for watching. All right, you've got three choices. You go grab the new Aurora HDR, or you get the bundle that is a nice long tutorial, or maybe go check out my new presets. All right, thanks.